Howdy folks, Needle Mortera, Archer's Paradox 2020 Outdoors Adventures, and Icotech Electronic Predator Game Calls. I'm just out here in my driveway checking out my Sightmark Photon 4.6x digital night vision scope. And lo and behold, look what I see. I see Wiley E. Coyote, evil genius. Let's steady up. Maybe I can drop him. Here we go. Psych. <laughs> Seriously, folks. That is my new coyote decoy. And I'm going to talk a little bit about night hunting. A lot of you guys maybe have not tried it or are looking into trying it. I'll tell you what, from experience, from hunting feral hogs down in Alabama last year, uh, the first thing that you will notice in night hunting is that it is very difficult to judge distances. Why? Well, primarily because you're looking through a scope with a very narrow field of view. You know, if you, if you just uh, don't look through a scope and just, you know, look with your naked eye out to 100 yards, you have, you have the ability to get some perspective of your target in relation to its surroundings. Here, you know, this is a 4.6 power scope, and at this range, my field of view is maybe only 12 or 15 feet from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock from the left side of the frame to the right side of the frame. So regardless, what I have learned to do in coyote hunting at night is I'll set up my Icotech GC500 electronic predator game call at about 100 yards to 150 yards, depending on the terrain I'm hunting, uh, upwind of my calling position or crosswind. That way most coyotes will circle downwind of the calls because they can pinpoint the exact location of the call and they will typically try to follow any type of security cover and once they have deemed themselves safely downwind of the call sounds they will start circling downwind of the call and therefore will put themselves between you and the call. Let's say my call was another 50 yards off in that distance. Well, that coyote is obviously closer than the distance that I put the call at. So if the call, let's say, is 100 yards in that direction, well, obviously the coyote is less than 100 yards to my position. Now, you guys have probably have no idea what that distance is. I Earlier today, I got my laser range finder, and I range find that tree at 68 yards. And that coyote decoy is probably about four yards in front of it. So I'm guessing he's around 64 yards. Little hint, when you guys sight in your rifles, I am shooting a 223 uh, Remington AR-15 with a Barnes Bullet 50 grain varmint grenade, about 3,045 to 50 feet per second. Sighted in dead on at 100 yards. At 200 yards, I'm 1.4 minutes low or about 2.8 inches. 2 .8 inches. At 50 yards, I'm about uh, less than an inch low. At 75, I'm about dead on. So from zero to 200 yards, I am well within the point blank range of a coyote. You figure his kill zone from uh, top of his back to the below his chest is roughly eight inches. Head is probably about you know slightly under six inches in diameter. Easily within point blank range distance. So regardless of of uh, you not being able to judge distances at night, that's a great tip. Just set your electronic predator caller beyond where you expect the coyote to come in downrange and you'll be set. This is uh, an awesome scope I have. It is the Sightmark Pulsar 4.6X. Tell you what, if you guys want to get into uh, digital night vision and hunting at night, not just for coyotes, but feral hogs or whatever varmint you can hide at night, I would highly recommend the scope. Anyways, this is Nito Mortera with Archer's Paradox 2020 Outdoors Adventures and Icotech Electronic Predator Game Calls. Uh, this is Thursday, the week the week before the Ohio Deer and Turkey Expo. I will be at the Icotech booth with uh, Ico Mike and JD Pyatt. Hope to see you guys there. I'll be there Saturday around noon time. Until then, I hope you all enjoy the video.